So the first, excuse me, not the first. We're back at it now with the black belt roosterweight division final in the long sleeve, black and white with white shorts. Talison Suarez and on top in the black, Rodney Barboza. Now this is Talison Suarez's first year competing as a black belt. Seems like just he is. yesterday he was a purple belt. Oh, absolutely. I so remember quick. him as a juvenile blue. It's yeah. scary to think how far he's come in such a short time. I believe he's still 19 years of age. He's a uh, a blue, purple, and brown belt world champion. So, and this is his first Nogi World Championships as a black belt. So regarding the score, the ref had originally given two points for Hodney's takedown. And then he took it back. The video ref took it back and went, no, it was a minus one for Talison for pulling without engaging, right? And now he gave an advantage for Talison. I'm not sure what was that was for. I missed it. And Hodney, look at the sweep. I was about to reap the leg there. Hodney. And then Suarez attacking that. Dars there. Let's see if he can get bicep deep. He needs to shift. Yeah, this he might have something here if he can keep his this hands connected. This is interesting because this is a side of uh, his game that we've never seen before. We've never seen, uh, never seen Suarez go for this kind of uh, this kind of attack. He's much yep. more well known as a Baron Bolo player, and, and you know we see him a lot in the gi. But this right here, this dar stroke from top. Let's see if he gets it. And it seems locked in. Deep. Question is, is it tight enough for Hodney to tap? That's the question. Yeah, it seems on. I got a glimpse of Rodney's face there, and he did not look comfortable. Definitely some pressure going on there, but Suarez really needs to get that leg free and then sprawl out on top of the DAS. Making some micro adjustments, getting that knee through. He's almost through into the uh, the, with the knee slice, but Barboza still hanging yeah. on. Uh, I, honestly, I'm not a big fan of being in half guard for that position. I think Tollison should be looking to pass. Right. It would be a better job of using his weight. That's well, the problem. Well, he's giving it up right now. He's just got that yeah. deep overhook, but the problem with being in half for Suarez as a result. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's the problem with being in a half guard is you can't really put your weight on that darsh, right? So it's just like an arm darsh. You can't really use gravity to your favor. Uh, if I were Tyus, I'd be definitely try to move forward for the half guard because the darsh is still there. Like, you know, Hodney is still, you know, feeding that underhook. And he's locked it once. He can lock it again. Got an advantage for that darsh. Back step. Nice work there. Got a deep cross face with the grip, the fingers in the armpit. That's a uh, very strong grip if he can uh, get his weight down on it. But Boza framing away. Leg lock attempt here. Oh, pulling Suarez. that knee sideways. Nasty. See how he pulled that leg in. He was like straight out pulling the knee on the inside of the knee. He was definitely yeah. looking for the, uh, the straight knee bar, but the way that Rodney reacted almost looked like he was going into the reaping position and, and Suarez just put his hands up and was like, no, 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 Yo, no well, I'm not doing anything. Don't DQ well, me. Well, the thing is, like, technically you can pull as long as the leg can move, right? That's the criteria. You can tweak the knee so long as there's room for you to move, kind of like in the half guard in De La Hiva. But there's a lot of gray area there, obviously. And Hodney now in the 50-50 position with Talison on top. Now he's looking to go for that bolo. I think he's going to get two for that. Smart move by Suarez. Yeah, Because Hodney rolls out of bounds. And Hodney's not, he's upset because he knows, he feels that it wasn't a threat. But he did roll out of it, which implies that there's some level of threat, right? You go out of bounds, that's two points. Dallas and Suarez, who's got the lead also on points now, not just advantages. Two matches today for Talis and Suarez. Just the one match for Rodney Barboza. Ronnie Barboza actually took out last year's champion, Nobuhiro Sawada, the 20, 
uh, 18 Nogi World Champion, Barboza fighting through into the finals, beating him in the semis. Talison Suarez had two matches earlier today. And if Talison wins this, then he would have won blue, purple, brown, and black belt world titles in uh, probably in the space of about three years. Because he won brown belt worlds just six months ago. Very experienced for his age, very mature, considering he's so young, just got his black belt. I don't think he's, in, in theory, he's less Straight experienced. Straight attempt oh. there. Diving over onto the top of it was, was, Barbo, uh, was Suarez, but sacrificed position as a result. Now, Barboza on that straight ankle, but to be honest, Talton you don't does not see many rooster weights tap to uh, straight ankles, Robert. <laughs> no, it's true. It's very rare. And the refs give advantages to opposite people. One gave advantage to one, the other one to the other. So took the advantage back. And now, now look at that counter there, this, this position that Suarez has done. So the leg entanglement from Barboza, he has like the ankle lock position. The Suarez has reached his hand through and around the waist and got a grip around the hips of Barboza. He's reached in through and around underneath his own leg. Basically, that should he be able to free his right foot, he's going to be in such a great position to come well, up and pass it. The thing is, like, it's, there's a reap going on there as well. I'm surprised it didn't say anything. There it is. It's nice. Slips the position. Oh, yeah. almost two up onto the back. Good but defense by Rodney. And now Rodney's bottom. Advantage for that ankle lock attempt. Yeah. Rod Suarez still has, like, a large lead. Be difficult for Ronnie to catch up. Anything could happen. We still got three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Can he reverse the score? And Rodney really has got to switch gears here. He's down by two. He's behind on advantages as well. Got to do something. Rodney with the underhook there. But doesn't seem committed to that half guard. So he still uses that knee shield across Suarez's hip. That means he's like pushing him away and trying to pull himself in with the arm. So it's like kind of like almost like he hasn't decided if he's going to play a half guard, open guard. There we go, half guard now. And you see Tollison fishing for that Darce again, but Rodney recovers. Yeah, he's got to stand up on that single. Tollison seems to be doing a really good job shutting Hodney off. Doesn't give him much to work with. Here you got something. Let's see if you can turn that into a X guard. Or if you can transition to a 50-50. But or maybe go to the back from there. If he gets up. Yeah, Hodney needs to get up, score the points. Oh yeah, that's gonna be two for Rodney here. Still behind by one advantage. Can Rodney score an advantage now? Alright, two two. Three two on the advantages, to Suarez. No clear advantage at all in this position here. Yeah, well, tough spot for Rodney with just over a minute left. Tolleson, very, very smart competitor. He knows exactly what's happening. He knows that the only thing that can happen is Rodney pass or catch him in a submission. He's got to watch out for those two things. And if he keeps that 50-50, he's fine. Rodney needs to transition with that right leg. He's got to pull it out. He's 
Not sure what he wants to do with that underhook there. He seems to be trapping himself, if anything. Unless he can free that foot. If that foot comes out, he might have some... See, yeah, the foot is getting less and less tight as Rodney pulls himself in with that upper body. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. See, Suarez definitely desperately trying to get some leverage on that ankle. He's actually got a good bite on this now. This yeah, is better. See if he can do it. See if Rodney he can do was it. maybe a little... Uh, over eager to try and get round to that back because by doing so what he's done is he's actually made the ankle lock a little uh, a little better for Suarez who's just hanging on to it now here as the time runs out all right just a uh, Rodney let's see if he gets Two that advantage points for Suarez for coming back up on top yeah. there at the end this is over and that is it Suarez wins the black belt world title in his first Nogi World Championships as a black belt, and Robert, I have a feeling that that is going to be the first of many. I agree. I think it won't be the, the it would be the, it was the first black belt world title, but it won't be the last. Got a little replay of the uh, action from earlier in the match. Suarez working from top. And this is when he uh, dived on that DAS choke attempt, I believe. 